Well, hey everybody, as you can tell, I'm here in uh, what I like to call White Lightning, and that's my beautiful 1997 Mercury Grand Marquis. And that means today we're gonna be going on a little bit of a road trip. First, just so you know, we are in Tennessee, back in my old stomping grounds, just north of Nashville, Tennessee. And today we're gonna go around and check out some of the old places that I used to go to try to find retro tech, video games, anything like that. Some of you guys may have remembered from the past that I've gone to this Goodwill near my old house again in Tennessee, and it was basically a honey hole. You could go in there sometimes and find a thousand dollar video game collection that had been just turned in, and nobody there really cared enough to research the value on the thing, so they would just put it out with pretty much any other item. So first we're gonna go to the best Goodwill that is in the city of Gallatin, and we're gonna check this out and see if there's anything there. I haven't been there in probably three months, so hopefully uh, some stuff stacked up or maybe somebody else has taken my place and just buying everything, but we'll find out. First, we're gonna go there, then uh, I will have uh, some other spots in the Nashville and outside of Nashville area we're gonna go to. But hey, yeah, enough of this stuff. Let's go ahead now and head to that first Goodwill and see what we can find. There's the actual store. In case any of you guys ever get in the Gallatin area and want to come check this place out. Have a good opportunity. Possibly get some good deals on something. You know the good thing about uh, modern technology and uh, Bluetooth stuff is you can sit here and talk to yourself and people don't think you're crazy anymore. Anyway, let's go on inside here. First thing I'm going to do is check these cases. Oh, anything exciting? Nah. Bunch of rubbish. Well, I'm not sure what Light Seekers The Awakening is, but there's a ton of those things. Monster LED lights, not a good deal. Bicycles. Decided to come about an hour after they opened on a Saturday, so it wouldn't be too busy today, hopefully. Oh yeah. We're gonna go back here and first look at our home goods section, which does have some electronics in it. What on earth is this thing? Do it sit? Oh, it's weird. Let's check out this thing. These things are cool. This is an um, old school surge protector that you would sit your CRT monitor on. Then you could cycle through power for monitor, computer, Printer auxiliary. This looks to be a knockoff one. Let's see. Yeah, this is not a branded one, but it's a cool little power supply. There you go. These things are nice too, right? This is a battery backup. These usually if they work, will sell for a lot more than five bucks anymore because you can mod them, I think, to make like a backup. Oh, well, that's trash. Professional pen tablet, look at this, inbox. What year is this from? Good deal? Maybe. Well, here's some LCDs. This is an Emerson this is a TV with HDMI support. Oh, got even an RGB in on this thing. LD19 OEM2, so this is a 19 inch television. Over here we have a 4x3 Toshiba. This might actually be a little bit nicer if you wanted a 4x3. Component video. Built-in DVD, four by three. Oh, not, not anything that ex exciting. There's always these stupid Wii Fit accessories. The Wii Fit, like anybody who's gonna actually exercise on the Wii. Oh, here's the exciting section. Yes, let's see. Got it. 
left it to rights complete. Darksiders. Interesting. Just seen these idiots on Twitter saying that you could uh, get water to grade this crappy game and then sell it for $800. These people are idiots. NBA Live. VHS. All right, let's check out the second media section. Generally, just a mix of DVDs. You'll get some. Connect training. Look, this one's still sealed. Too bad somebody bit it. Or you could send that to WADA. Probably make a million dollars. Madden 06. Sometimes I do look for DVDs if there's something, you know, good. Like, I don't know. Maybe Big Trouble Little China. I'm always looking for John Carpenter stuff. And nobody ever turns that in because I guess they're smarter. All right. I don't see really anything over here. Oh, how about this? Brand new. Ooh. See, stuff like this. What is this? <laughs> Look at Reba. She's, she's got some firepower there, don't she? Oh, man, I might have to get this. What? Goodfellas ripoff. Is this supposed to be a spoof? Oh, I don't think so. An edited miniseries, The Neon Empire. Never heard of it. Let's take a quick look at this VCR here. If you want to get VCRs, this is the first place you should look. $8, plus you get to test it. i five forehead. RCA. Goodness, of course the jerk didn't rewind it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's not. Mm. <laughs> That's no good. I have my first round of pickups from that Goodwill. There's a there's great stuff in there, first off. This unbelievable complete box in Tuos five touch professional pen tablet. This thing's in almost new condition internally. Of course, it's older, uh, compatible all the way down with Windows 7. Uh, but this setup still sells. I mean, I saw one that had an actual bid on it where it was all the way up to just about a hundred dollars. So for four dollars, it's definitely worth it. Maybe we can get this to work on uh on one of my machines and test it out and uh, see if we can draw anything maybe some new retro tech logos who knows so that's that's the big item from from that store but i uh, also got a brand new in box tripod for six dollars i always buy this stuff when i see it just because i obviously need it and um, now on to the smaller items uh, i only bought one game it was complete manual pretty good condition lord of the rings the Two Towers. I may already have this game for PlayStation 2. I'm not entirely sure. Of course, it was $6, which uh, is a decent deal. These will sell for 15 to 20 bucks on eBay right now for a complete copy. And so I'll just throw that in my stash and wait for it to get a little bit more valuable than that down the road. Now this, it's maybe my one of my personal favorite things I found. I didn't show it to you. I have to clean it up. But check out this awesome, badass album cover. Um, it's, I'm not even sure what this exactly is. It looks like it's just musical themes, uh, conducted, but look how cool that cover is with all those CRT televisions. And on the back, we got some more. So I thought that was too cool to let go for 99 cents. And then for 25 cents, we picked up the gambler returns VHS. I mean, seriously. I gotta know, I gotta know. First you got Kenny Rogers up there. Looks like he's in a death situation. Is uh, Reba gonna get the Gatling gun out and save his ass? 
I'm ready to see. All right, we're at stop number two. This is another Goodwill, and this one is in the city next to me in Gallatin. That would be called Hendersonville, Tennessee, and that's getting closer towards the Nashville area. This is all north of Nashville if you're actually interested in the geography of this place. And this Goodwill is a bit newer. I want to say it's only like three or four years old, uh, and the bad thing is, is this is not nearly as good of a honey hole usually as the last place. It will be a lot cleaner inside. You're going to see a lot of, uh, you know, it's going to look nicer inside, but the stuff that's turned in here never seems to be as good as the other Goodwill. So let's just go in now and check out Goodwill number two. All right, here's a look at the front of the building. Again, if you ever are in this area, it's pretty standard looking Goodwill, just a little bit newer. All right, guys, so one of the reasons you want to come in January, especially December, to uh, Goodwill stores is people tend to throw out their stuff at the end of the year, especially in America. They make room for new junk for Christmas. Some appliances, furniture, blarty blar, nothing we really want to have any interest in. Stuff, gotta keep stuff small because I gotta travel back with it. Some of these things are not gonna come. Look at this. What is that? Scepter. Is this a monitor? It is awfully thin. Wow, forty dollars. I bet this is like a ten eighty monitor. Forty bucks, a little bit high, I and mean, that's the problem. Some of these places charge just too much for their junk. Here's a CRT karaoke machine. Got a little tube in it. See? I mean, you could just hook up anything to this. So can find a CRT in here. <laughs> Ethernet cables, charging cables, da, 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 da. old iPad chargers, jam boxes. These are the jam boxes nobody wants yet. Although they do have cassette players in them, so if you want something like that, it's a good idea. Baby, let's make chocolate fondue and have a party too. Look at all these fondue makers. Uh, stereo system that looks like garbage. Media section. Tons of CDs. Sometimes you can again find things like PlayStation 1 games hiding in here. I've found those before. Silver buckle stables. We might need to get this for Bob. You know, he loves horses. <laughs> oh, goodness, I might have to. Ooh, again, more. We work out. It's a popular thing, isn't it? In thrift stores, the we work outs. Maybe we should get these for Mike Chi, Mr. and Mrs. Retro Tank here. Oh, gosh, those are not cute at all. These are night nightmare fuel. Well, unfortunately, that was kind of the typical Goodwill experience, especially to anybody that knows and tries to go shopping at Goodwill. Most of the time, you're just not going to find anything really worth buying. And especially if there's a line and that horse game is really not worth anything. I mean, if you look it up online, it sells for less than $10. It's not rare. I'd never seen it before, but I just thought it would have been funny to send to Bob. But since there's such a long line, he'll just have to wait till next time. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good example of why people complain about Goodwill. And uh, But you do have to remain consistent, honestly, because sometimes things will show up here, I'm sure, that are good. But if you're not here, probably when it gets put out on the shelf, and uh, if you don't stop by these stores more regularly, you're not going to get the chance to actually land one of these great items. The next store we're gonna go into is called The Great Escape. Now this is a legendary store in the Nashville area and if you're from anywhere in the Nashville area, you will know the name The Great Escape probably if you collect comic books, ball cards, Pokemon stuff, video games. It's kind of like a place where all this stuff goes, including albums, music, a lot of that kind of stuff, videos, media, and of course video games and old retro stuff. Uh, now, the problem with their store is they are a retail kind of store, small business, but they are a small chain. I think there's four of them around the area. 
So that means we're not going to get probably big price drops or, you know, great deals on anything. What you can get good deals on here are broken consoles that are turned in. Sometimes they have stacks of those and also uh, like adapter plugs and used power supplies. They tend to have those in bargain bins for a dollar or two. So I always love to look through those. Um, it's going to be a little bit more of a retail store and not so much of a goodwill so uh, i'll try to get as much great footage for you as i can uh, so let's just go now go inside to the great escape going into the great escape good place here the great escape is a cool store filled with random stuff you can pretty much find all types of collectibles in this store and they will buy things from you the staff did not really seem to like the idea of me filming, but thankfully I was able to sneak some footage out. So we'll breeze through the game sections. They have the high priced items in the display cases. Some of the shelves had common Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo games, but not really much to choose from here. Most of these games were priced under $10 and um, just nothing really that exciting. Now they did have a pretty good inventory of disc games. Everything from PlayStation to modern games had some selection and I found a copy of a complete 18-wheeler American trucker for the GameCube for $8 and of course I bought it. I don't have this game and I love getting decent stuff on the GameCube. Here's some Odyssey stuff. The next display case has most of the consoles and more expensive accessories inside of it. Most of the items in the case right now are pretty much modern consoles and other accessories. There was a SNES and they were nice enough to write the serial number on the outside I bet they get asked a lot about the one chip question they also had a silver GameCube console down at the bottom now on to these bargain bins these tubs are separated based on well nothing really anymore they just seem to be filled with mostly random useless junk There were some knockoff controller sets and some decent power supplies for the Wii and the Xbox 360 if you need one. But unfortunately, just not a lot to choose from here. A couple of knockoff multi taps and other things, just nothing really I'm looking for. We got what looks like one OG Xbox controller, but goodness gracious, $17 just for the controller now. They did have some broken consoles. They had a $5 Xbox 360 and then some $50 Xboxes that all didn't power on. Then there was a PS3 that was listed as backwards compatible for $50, but that sounds like a headache and it's filthy. I did buy one more item that was not on film in the store. That was the Nintendo Z-Bag. It cost me $3, but it's filthy. It's in pretty good shape outside of the awful stains on the exterior. I may clean this up and have a Twitter post about it. 
I still feel like it was a bargain at three dollars. Now on to our final stop of the video. All right, partners. Well, our last stop of this trip is going to be a place called Smashville. I hope you enjoy some of the local shenanigans at the hockey game. Some cool stuff. Space Invaders, too bad they had a crappy LCD panel in there. What's wrong with this picture? Centipede, Millipede. Come on, fellas. Come on, Breads. We need to get you some CRTs in here. And then back here in the corner, Pac Man. What you think, LCD? Here we are, Predator time. I also want to talk over this silly ACDC song so these guys don't try to sit there and uh, copyright over two seconds of this video. Well guys, unfortunately, the Predators lost, but that's okay, it's hockey. That happens. It's a long season. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this retro vlog slash road trip slash hockey game, whatever you want to call this. It's been a wonderful week, and I can't wait to get back into the CRT bunker and get working on some wonderful machines again. I'll see you guys soon.